right, we'll go ahead and start off with the mountain views. It's a little overcast, but super nice. Right across from the elementary school. And then you've got some nice parking here in RV parking. And those are gonna be really pretty mountain views when it is not overcast, and especially in the winter. And then looks like you have a sewer there. Neighbor looks nice. Looks like they've kind of kept up the neighborhood in this part. Got a nice little easement here, probably so nice like in the winter time, this is where they'll put snow. Got a fenced yard here. I'll come back out to the garage. Let me just see something. I meant to check this earlier. Yep, I'll do the garage now. Okay. So no inside, outside access. Oh, this is like a converted carport. So this is basically more like a covered carport. I don't know. I don't see any heating system in here. This might be unheated. Oh, wonderful. Nice, flat, level yard. Tons of space back here to work on those vehicles. That is a huge Class A motorhome. And then the two storage sheds. That is amazing. Okay. And I've got the front door unlocked. Oh, forgive me on this door. There we go. Put some muscle into it. Nice. It does have an opener though. So there is a garage door opener. It just might not be heated. Sorry for the hectic mix here. Just trying to make sure I don't leave anything unlocked. Okay. Love this decking. Let's take a peek over here. Garden beds! Yeah. Ooh, and a greenhouse. This is great. Okay, so your typical split level home. You come in and you can go up or down. But this one's nice because I haven't seen a split level of vaulted ceilings in like ever. This is cool. This is nice big entryway too. This is a good size. So let's come up. Looks like you do have a little bit of popcorn ceiling here. I wonder if this was always vaulted or if they did this at some point. I bet you they opened this up and switched it when they redid the roof to a metal roof. I bet you that's what they did. This flooring is gorgeous. The mirroring there. And here's your views. Wood burning fireplace. Got this open here. Just some sirens from the main road. Just a shot of the neighbors. It smells 
a little bit like cigarette smoke in here. And I don't know if that's because this was shut and someone had like used it and had been smoking and it was just on their clothes. But it, it definitely, it doesn't smell like it anywhere out here at all. But it definitely did in that little bathroom. Love this kitchen. Flooring totally looks like tile, but it's just a sheet vinyl. Baseboard heat. Pantry, I'm gonna guess. It's nice and deep, so I'll give you an idea. There's my full arm. And I have long arms. All right. This is cool. This is one of those you can stretch over top here. The drying rack. Nice stainless steel appliances. Let's go downstairs. So you can go this way, and that is a mirror. And you can go this way. Let's go this way first. Bedroom number one. Smells and looks like new carpet. Nice neutral gray, grayish beige color. Grayish. It's a big closet. That is just, this thing is huge. It's almost like a room in and of itself. Awesome. Laundry room. Nice hot water heater and boiler. Because you're on baseboard, so you, instead of forced air, you've got a nice boiler. A little uh, expansion tank here. More heating. And it too looks like I placed a control board on something. Washer dryer. This is a nice room. Downstairs bathroom. It's always switches. Just want to light. Okay, well, we're going to get light and noise. Nice and clean, super clean. That's awesome. Oh, it's a heater. I can feel it. Oh, that's awesome. Clearly the things you get excited about as an Alaskan. <laughs> Under stairs storage. Let's see if there's a, I don't see a light, but it goes back and tucked under there. Okay, so I don't think there's going to be a true master then in this house. So it's the just these three bedrooms downstairs. Good size, good closet size again. And last bedroom. Ooh, wow, they're big closet. Ooh, keeps going. Love stepping in these closets. It's just, they're so big. You could probably fit a king size bed in here, right here. You'd be blocking the window a little bit, but I totally think you can. All right, I'm going to get this uploaded for you guys.